students i hope you doing great so in this video we are going to do work on oxford countdown book 5 third edition so now let's get started let me show you the page okay so the page that we are doing in this video is 30 and the question that we are doing in this video is 4 okay so now let's get started let's read the question number 4 which of the following numbers are divisible by 4 so basically we are gonna do divide but we are gonna do it with only 4 not with any else numbers okay let me tell you how and i will also tell you everything about it in the coming up video okay for now let's get started let's do part a is one nine nine six okay so we're gonna write here one nine i'm writing a little big so you can see better nine nine six okay and we're gonna divide it with four okay like this just like i told you i'm writing a little big to show you better oopsie sorry guys sorry sorry it's not here nine nine six no. and we're gonna divide it with four because it says divisible by four okay so what are we gonna do first what are we gonna do is we are gonna find 19 first as you know in the table of four there is no 19 but there is 16 okay so what are we gonna do is we're gonna use 16 so four up here because 16 is come in four four are 16 okay so like this we're gonna write one here six here okay and as you know in nine and six when you minus six from nine it is three and as you know one one minus one from one is the zero and we're gonna put this nine right here okay there you go and now let's see can we can find 39 in the table of 4 um no we cannot but we can sure do find 36 in the table of 4 okay it comes from man because 4 9 are 36 okay i'm gonna write 3 here and 6 here okay minus it again when you minus 6 from 9 it is 3 and when you minus 3 from 3 is 0, okay? Because we are not using 0, okay? We just these my numbers, okay? And now let's do this one. There you go. And can we find the 36th number in the table of 4? Yes, we can. From 9, like this. And now you just minus it. And as you know, it comes 0, 0, and 0, okay? So, yes, we can divide it. Okay, so if it divides all, oh, that means it comes 0 here. When it comes 0 here, that means the answer is correct. So, you take it here, okay? If 0 doesn't come and your number come, then it's cross here, okay? But since the number come, we're gonna write take here, okay? Let's go to part B. And this was part A. Let's go to part B. The part B is... 2000 so we're gonna write again 2000 here and i already told you why i'm writing big so you can see better okay like this and now we're gonna divide it i'm putting this line so you guys remember that the that one is already solved okay so this is another again therefore um can we can find two in the table of four hmm oh wait i forgot to tell you something that you can also do two number you just don't need to do one number you can also do two numbers at the same time so so if you these two numbers are known as 20 okay and if you just do one it's two okay um, can we get find 2 in the table of 4? Nope, we can't. But can we find 20 in the table of 4? Yes, we can. Let me tell you how. Okay, so... From 5, we can find 20 because 2, 5 are 20. I mean, sorry, sorry, sorry. 4, 5 are 20. 2, 5 are 10, but 4, 5 are 20, okay? 
so far. Twenty. You're gonna be our answer today. Minus it, zero will come. And I'm writing a little weird because I'm writing bigger. And another zero. So can we find zero? Yes, we can. Four zero or zero. So just this one is gonna be easy, okay? Front it will be easy because zero will come again. Just skip these ones, okay? Zero. Can we find again zero? Yes, we can. From zero and zero. That's it. So this is how you do it, okay? Oh, and I forgot to tell you, you can also do these two at the same time. Just write these two here and then find a zero and minus them. But I want to do it like this, so that's why I'm doing it. Okay? So can we can do this one? Yes, we can. So this one is also correct. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, remember to always put a tick after you solve it, okay? Without a tick, your answer is wrong, okay? That's it. So this was part B. Let's do the last part, which is part C. Part C is 2, 3, 6, 0, 6, okay? Let me tell you how to do it. First, you again write it. Like this, okay, and now you minus it. You minus it from four because we're right now doing question number four, which is divisible by four. Okay, so let's see. Can we find two? Hmm. No, we cannot, but can we find twenty-three? Hmm. No, we cannot. But can we find 20 in the table of 4? Yes, we can. So, it's again come from 5. So, 20 like this. And minus it, okay? So, as you know, you cannot minus 0 from 3. As you know, in subtract, you use carry from, per, from the next number but always the top one not the down one okay so that's why we cannot do it that's why I just put three here and zero here okay do it like this 36 Ooh, this looks cheap can you find 36 in the table of four 36 36 yes we can from 9 36 here my brick it's, it's gonna be just 0 but we're not done right now guys we're not done we gotta find still more but you know what I will do I will get them both down okay um I'm actually I change my mind I will spell them like this Zero, of course, zero comes. So zero, zero, or zero. Zero here, and now six, 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 six. <laughs> can we find six in the table of four? Mm, not really, but can we find four? Yes, we can from one. Like this. And do you know what comes? How many numbers are left when you minus 6 from 4? Dude, that's correct. So, 2 was our remainder. But I told you, you always need 0. But since there was no 0, you will put a cross here. And so, if you're thinking that, but this is a 0, you can put it here. You can still put it here. But there needs to be both 0. Let me put it a little up so you can see it. See? That's why it's cross. Okay? So, this is how you do question number four. And, yep, I hope you like the video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, bye. See you in the coming up video.